Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will see how to carry out a hypothesis test and a confidence interval for paired numerical data. In the early 1990s, researchers in the UK collected data on traffic flow, number of shoppers, and traffic accident-related emergency room admissions on Friday the 13th and the previous Friday, Friday the 6th. The distributions of traffic accident-related emergency room admissions for six such pairs of dates, along with summary statistics, are shown below. A. Conduct a hypothesis test to evaluate if there is a difference between the average numbers of traffic accident-related emergency room admissions between Friday the 6th and Friday the 13th. So first we need to decide which type of hypothesis test to do. We seem to have two groups, the 6th and the 13th, but we also have the differences which makes us think that it's going to be a matched pairs test. Are these data points really matched? Well, these data points correspond to specific years. So in a particular year, I have the data for the Friday the 6th and the corresponding Friday the 13th. Same thing for another year and for another year. So these data points are essentially paired. And so we will do a matched pairs t-test. So first we need our hypotheses. And our null hypothesis always says nothing's going on, there's no difference. So it'll be that mu sub diff is zero, no difference. Our alternate hypothesis, because we want to evaluate if there is a difference, we'll do a two-sided test, and our alternate hypothesis will be that mu sub diff does not equal zero. That is the true difference, um, the true average difference uh, in the number of traffic accident, etc., between these two dates. And now we'll set our significance level alpha at 0.05. And conditions for the matched pairs t-test, we need a random sample of differences or a matched pairs experiment. And we need the number of differences to be at least 30 or the distribution of the population of differences to be approximately normal. Here we'll have to fudge a little bit, but we'll just assume that these six years that we have these uh, paired data points for are like a random sample. And based on the normal probability plot, uh, the distribution of sample differences are approximately symmetric. So we'll assume the distribution of population differences are approximately normal. And now we can calculate our t-statistic. It's always in the general form observed minus null over the standard error. The observed is what we have here. This is the observed difference. Here's the standard deviation of the difference. The null is going to be this zero here. This is our null value. And so it's going to look like the negative 3.33 minus the null of 0. For the standard error, for a mean, we need the standard deviation divided by square root of n. So we have the 3.01 divided by square root of 6. Here, remember to use everywhere the differences, since we're doing a matched pairs t-test on the differences. Our degrees of freedom is the number of differences minus 1, so in this case that's going to be 5. And now we can evaluate the t statistic and find the p-value. I'll just use a ti calculator here, and I'll go to stat, tests. This is like a one sample test on the differences, so we're just going to choose number 2, which is t-test. And I have the stats, not all the data, so I'll go over to stats and hit enter. The null value is 0. The observed average is negative 3.33. With standard deviation there for the differences is 3.01. And n is 6. I have a two-sided alternate. And now I'll calculate. And this gives me my t of negative 2.71, let's call it, and a p-value of 0.042. So we can record those values. And now we observe that our p-value is less than alpha. And so our conclusion is reject h sub o. And if we reject h sub o, we have evidence for h sub a, which is to say evidence that there is a difference between the average numbers of traffic accident-related emergency room admissions between Friday the 6th and Friday the 13th. 
Okay, part B, calculate the 95% confidence interval for the difference between the average numbers of traffic accident related emergency room admissions. It's a mouthful. Between Friday the 6th and Friday the 13th. And so similarly, we're going to do a matched pairs T interval because these, um, these data points are paired. And so conditions are the same for the interval as for the test. And so just to reiterate, we'll assume the six years are like a random sample. And we have the distribution of sample differences are approximately symmetric. So assume the distribution of population differences are approximately normal. For our confidence interval, it's always going to have this form, our estimate, plus or minus the critical value times the standard error. Here, if we want to put some symbols in, we can say our estimate is the x bar of the differences. And the standard error is given by the standard deviation of the differences over the square root of n. And so if we plug in some numbers here, we plug in the negative 3.33, and we plug in the 3.01 for s, and the 6 for n. We have our degrees of freedom is n minus 1, so that's 5. And now we need to find t star. So we'll need a t table for this. So pull up a t table. And we want 95% confidence, so we want to go to the column that corresponds to 95%. And we have n is 6, so 5 degrees of freedom. So go to row corresponding to df is 5. And trace those, and we come to a t star of 2.571. So we'll plug that in. And now we can grab a calculator to evaluate this. And we'll use the shortcut. We'll go to stat, tests, and we'll go down to t interval. So t interval, plug in stats, conveniently already entered because of the last test that we did. So we have our x bar, our s, our n. Our confidence level is 0.95. And so we can simply calculate. And that'll give us our interval. So about negative 6.5 to negative 0.17. OK, so let's plug in those numbers. And now we are 95% confident that the true mean difference in traffic accident related emergency room admissions between Friday the 6th and Friday the 13th is between negative 6.49 and negative 0.17 times. And so. Because the entire interval is negative, now we have to remind ourselves which order we did the difference in. Here we did the difference as 6 minus 13. So since the entire interval is negative, we have evidence that this second one is bigger. So this is making it negative because the second term is bigger. So we have evidence that there are more on Friday the 13th than on Friday the 6th. If the entire interval had been positive, we would have had evidence that there were more on the 6th. If the interval contained 0, we wouldn't have had evidence of either. And finally, C, the conclusion of the original study states, Friday the 13th is unlucky for some. The risk of hospital admission as a result of a transport accident may be increased by as much as 52%. Staying at home is recommended. Do you agree with this statement? Explain your reasoning. We can observe that we do have evidence that there are more of these on Friday the 13th. However, this was not an experiment, so we do not have evidence that there's a causal relationship. And this statement seems to be implying a causal relationship. Going out on Friday the 13th causes you to be more at risk. So this does not imply that driving on a Friday the 13th causes someone to be at a higher risk. So we have to disagree with this statement. That's it for this video. For more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.